Hello everyone, welcome back to Skeleton Bitchcraft and Survival. Glad you could join me. Now, I got my nephew out here with me. He really didn't want to be in the video too much, so the rest of the video he won't be saying much. He'll just be doing his thing. But you'll see him, so I'm just introducing him, you know. But he's interested in bushcraft and he's wanting to learn, and so I've been teaching him a whole bunch. And uh, one of the things that he's gonna learn is in this video how to make a log stove a while back i seen a, a thing on tv and uh i thought it was kind of cool it was done like a uh as seen team on tv type commercial where take four or you take a log here and you split it in fours and you push it and it falls over and this and that whatever and I thought to myself, you know, that really is a cool little ordeal. It's a little metal plate that goes on there. I mean, that's really cool. It divides it up properly and, you know, holds it together. So you know, bump it and it stays together and stuff. But I thought to myself, if you do it the way that they've done it for centuries, you don't have that problem anyway. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video about that. Now I got another chunk off this tree right here. This is the tree that we cut down and used for the uh, fire lay. And so we just went ahead and cut off a little more of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show that. Now you take a piece like this right here and you put it together, you can put a, a pot or something like that on top of there and cook your meal. It's not really good for heat, but I mean, it's good for cooking. Well, anyway, thought I'd just go ahead and show how that's done so like I said this is just a piece off of this tree here we want this together the same way I split it up with this Fiskars axe and uh, if it falls off and stuff like that we want to know um, what pieces went with which so you hold them up together and you make little axe marks so that you know how it fits together in case they fall off and stuff like that and you gotta you know figure out how they go back together it's a lot easier doing it that way so the next step if i can get this to sit still the next step is from here to the top we're wanting to take away material kind of sloping it out so that it's narrower here than it is down here And you don't want to take off much, but you do want a gap. And you want to do that for all four pieces. You don't want to take off much because you want as much wood to burn as you can but you want to take off some to cause a hole in the center
All right. Once you have that done, we're wanting to tie off the bottom of it. Now, we tie off the bottom of it down here. We tie off the bottom of it down here. It's got a lot of stuff up here to burn and it won't even affect that. We can use cordage just, you know, whether it be 550 or it be natural cordage. We can use it around the bottom here to hold it together because the flames are coming up. So that alone holds it together and we don't have to worry about it falling apart for some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll come back for the next step. All right, now I just tied this around there so that it is all together. And you notice that there's a gap here. You can spread it apart. There's a gap here, here, all the way around, and there's a hole in the center. Now the hole in the center is where I'm going to put kindling, something to start a fire with, and it will drop down to that V. That's the reason why that I started up so high before I started cutting. That way it comes down and that's where it will stop. And then from there up is where it'll burn. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff in there, get that going and get it going good. And then I'll show you how it looks when it's actually in use. All right, I'm gonna try to show down uh, close here. You see the flame going there. And that'd just be a steady flame, just like that right there. Now you notice how that's separated out like that right there. All I did was I took some pieces to wedge down in there to separate it. And of course, those are gonna burn, but the coals are gonna remain and keep it separated throughout. And it's a nice little stove there, if you will. It's a nice little stove. You got your flames coming up there. Fire's getting everything that it needs. It's got plenty of fuel right there. Because the piece that you're using is the fuel itself. You got the wind flow coming through, so you got oxygen. And of course, it's close-knit, so you got the heat. And so you just take your pot and set it right on top of there. I'm going to go ahead and get a pot of water, and I'm going to put it on there, and we'll get it to boil. Anyways, I got me a pot of water here. I'm gonna set that on there. Now that's what I'm talking about. See, the pot sits right on there. It's nice flat surface, you know. It works great. It didn't fall apart because it's tied at the bottom. I didn't have to have any kind of fancy rig to, you know, put on top there to keep it from falling apart. That cordage right there is not gonna come off there, you know anytime soon it's not going to melt it's not going to you know come apart for a, a long time heat goes up flames go up and of course the flames are burning everything up right so it's going to take a, a long time well it ain't going to take a long time but longer than it takes for you to cook you a meal to actually start burning downward and getting to where it would affect the cordage. Just gonna take this water up to boil here and uh, it's already bubbling, so it shouldn't take very long. In fact, let me go ahead and get the lid for that. This is just a video for, you know, like general purpose. Cause I saw that right there and I, I, I mean, it's a cool little thing that they came up with, but I don't see how that's better than this. And it's another piece of gear that you have to carry with you. Please leave a comment in, you know, the comment section on, you know, what you think. 
you know am i not looking at it right i mean you know what's your thoughts on it you know and my thoughts is is that i'm already carrying cordage and cordage is light easy to pack i'm already carrying my cooking gear and to have to carry something else to you know to put on this log on top and then send bolts down through so that it doesn't move that's just to me a little bit more than it's needed i don't know <laughs> just if you would just leave a comment and tell me what you think about it you know is this better or is that cool little uh invention that they got there better all right we've had on down maybe five to ten minutes give or take <laughs> it's steaming so much you can't hardly see the boil but it, it's boiling so there it is i mean it, it it's an old tech uh, it's an old technology you know a little log stove it works great it's easy to put together i had that thing together in no time and it wasn't really hard to you know take my baco saw cut it you know off there and then take the hatchet to do the rest to me it just seems easier doing it this way than doing all that and having an extra set of gear carrying along with you so that you can keep it from falling down i don't know all right well boiled up the water just fine i hope that you enjoyed and like i said leave a comment you know on how you feel about that you know just throwing something like that together or carrying an extra piece of gear. I, I mean, I, I just want to know other people's thoughts on that. <laughs> I think that one right there would be how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's, all I, it's how I've always done it. <laughs> so, nevertheless, though, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you liked it, smash the like button. If you're new, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Share the video. All that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.